Hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we are working on some artificial or some faux floral arrangements um, for a wedding. We had a bride come in and bring us her faux flowers and her pompous grass plumes and ask that we put together her arrangements for her wedding. Now she ordered several different things for her wedding. She ordered two arrangements to be, um, they're going to have a dual purpose. So, um, for the wedding itself, they are going to be placed, the ceremony, they are going to be placed on barrels. These two arrangements will be placed on barrels. And then for the reception, they will be placed on a gold stand. So I'm going to show you how it looks on the gold stand at the very end. What we're going to do is we are going to use two of these um, blush and ivory bushes, um, floral bushes, and then lots of pompous grass plants. Um, when it gets closer to the wedding, the wedding isn't until March the 18th, when it gets closer to the wedding, we will add um, some seeded, fresh seeded eucalyptus to the arrangements. I'm going to start out with, this is actually a food saver um, container that I picked up from a dollar store. And what I did was I painted it gold so that it would um, cover up any of my mechanics. Next, what I did was, this is actually, um, it isn't plaster of Paris, it's actually some um, cement that you can get from your local hardware store. And I added it to the bottom and mixed it with water and then added some foam. This is just a hard styrofoam. Now, the wonderful part about the cement, we use plaster of Paris a whole lot. I just didn't happen to have any in the shop today. And so I did have that cement and I thought this is a perfect way to use the cement. Um, I love the fact that the cement is heavy. That's really nice. It's nice that it's got plenty of weight. So when it's sitting outside on the barrel, it's not going to blow. We don't have any worries about it blowing over because it's got pretty, it's got a pretty good weight to it. Um, what we're going to do is add a little bit of um, this moss. This is called Spanish moss. Um, and we get this by the box from the fella out of Florida who brings us our green plants and foliage. So, excuse me. So I'm gonna just take this moss and I'm covering up some of that green foam. Um, I just don't want you to look into the arrangement and see the green foam. So that's what we did there. Now, most of the time, if I was going to make a permanent arrangement, I would glue each of these blooms into place. Now, because this is, this is going to be an arrangement that she may want to take apart. I'm not exactly sure how she would use these flowers in this arrangement um, if it was all glued together. Like where exactly will she put this very large arrangement, okay? So I'm going to, I'm just going to arrange it without making it permanent by gluing each bloom into place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take both of these bushes and I am cutting them apart using my cobalt um, wire snips. And you can just take and go ahead and cut all of those blooms off the bush. Now, I have had people ask me, why don't you just stick the whole bush right down into the arrangement? I have found I don't have enough control over the arrangement if I just stick the whole bush down in there. I need more control than just sticking that down in there, meaning I'd like it to have a certain, um, a certain design. So that's the reason behind not sticking it directly down into the foam um, on, the, um, on the stem with all the blooms together. Now I'm pulling out of my, um, my supply drawer some Koei wood picks. These Koei wood picks are going to lengthen the stems on these um, on these flowers. So I'm going to use Koei wood picks to do that. These are a six inch Koei wood pick. You can get it from your local um, floral supplier or you can get it from the craft store. I think you can probably order them on Amazon as well. 
So I'm going to just take my balloons and I'm going to go ahead and begin tucking those right into this floral foam. Um, so I'm just going to go all the way around. I'm making an all the way around arrangement with these flowers. So I'm just taking these blooms and I am just pushing them right into that floral foam. Again, this is a hard styrofoam um, that I am using to arrange with. Now I realize these blooms are not very long um, and it's not going to be a very large arrangement with the florals, which is okay because it will get very large when I start to put the pompous plumes in. I love these dahlias. They're so pretty. This pretty um, blush pink dahlia. So you'll just go all the way around and make this, I don't think I'm going to have to elongate any of those blooms, maybe, maybe one or two. So I'm just going all the way around in this arrangement, just pressing these stems right down into that foam. Now, if you want to make this arrangement um, permanent or more permanent, you can take and dip these right into a glue pan and then press them into the floral foam. They're going to, it will certainly stay together. It's going to be hard to take apart. But I just felt like it would be the easiest thing to do for her to be able to make it into something else if she wants to. Okay, so there's our florals that I have tucked into this arrangement. Now, some of these we can even take and elongate with these Koei wood picks. So, after I've got them in place, I'm going to pull them out and give them a little bit more length so that it makes this arrangement a little bit bigger. So I'm just taking that stem and I am placing, laying it right on the side of the pick and then I'm wrapping the um, wire right around that stem and then pressing it right back into that foam. Now this is just giving us a little height, but no worry, I'm gonna show you how we're really going to get our size with this arrangement. If you want to make this much larger, you can absolutely put these wood picks on every single stem if you would like. It's, um, it's really all in your preference. Okay, so there's our florals all the way around. Next, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take, these are pompous grass plumes. Our bride went out and she gathered these plumes. Um, she gathered them over time. So I'm just gonna take some snips and I'm going to cut that stem right off and I'm just gonna press that moppet's grass plume right down in to that arrangement. Now I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna continue until I get it as large as I would like. Now I want you to know that when you look at this, if there's still going, if the, there is still going to be some void space in this arrangement and there's no worry because I'm going to use some foliage to fill in. Now what I did here was I cut this one in half. I'm going to use it in two separate places. I'm gonna use one short. I'm gonna actually use both of these short, but that way we're able to use it in two separate places. Now look at the size that this pompous grass is really making and adding to this arrangement. really makes a difference, doesn't it? I'm gonna cut this one in half also. So I just cut it in half and I'm tucking 
one piece on one side and then one piece over here on the other. And I have plenty of pompous grass plumes, so I can go as big, I've got as much as I want to. So we can add as much as we would like. I'm gonna cut this one in half too. You just keep adding it until you're pleased. Especially with this palm grass, because I have lots, so I can add it as much as or as little as I would like. And really the pompous grass was her favorite part about the whole wedding. And so therefore she is going to be very pleased with more is better for her. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. There is our arrangement all the way around. Um, I'm gonna grab a little bit of eucalyptus so I can show you what the finished product will look like. Give me just one moment. doing this to show you because this wedding is a week away um, it's going to be actually it's it's two weeks away um, it's going to be on the 18th so I am NOT going to keep this eucalyptus in this arrangement it'll go back in the cooler so it stays fresh um, we will use this this week and I'll get for I'll get new eucalyptus in for this arrangement but I wanted to I wanted you to see the finished product because quite honestly it's going to look so so nice with the greenery and I just wanted you to um, to be able to see the complete finished arrangement so with this eucalyptus we're just going to press it just as if it's a, an artificial it's going to press right down in to that foam and I am just going to look at how that green really brings life to this arrangement I'm just taking it and tucking it right into the arrangement I'm going all the way around And it's really making such a difference, I think. I think it's it's going to be, she's going to be very pleased in the end with this arrangement. I think it's always neat to see faux blooms with fresh greenery um, because what for whatever reason those faux blooms really really bring life to an array I mean the fresh greenery really brings life to the faux arrangement okay now I'm going to show you what it's going to look like so just like this it will be placed on top of a, um, on top, just on top of a barrel, like a whiskey barrel. Um, and then at the reception, they are going to have these gold stands. 
And these gold stands, we will place, they will just move this arrangement over to the reception and just place them right on top of the gold stands. And so they will just sit right on top of these gold stands and be placed on the buffet. And so I think they do, they're going to look absolutely lovely. So that's what it looks like. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. If you have any questions about how we put this arrangement together or how we do anything here at the flower shop, please don't hesitate to ask. We are so happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to um, subscribe to our video. And if you'd like to get notifications, there's a little bell down below that you can hit and it'll give you notifications every time we have a new video up. Guys, also check us out over on Facebook. We do live videos over there every afternoon and we also have live videos over here on YouTube on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Guys, thank you so much. We'll see you real soon.